Hey guys, I'd like to give you a closer look at the Polar Pen and show you some of its unique features. Each Polar Pen is made from 12 extremely powerful rare earth magnets. I'll quickly disassemble it here to show you all the components involved in, in one pen. So pull off the end cap and then push on the end of the cartridge which will eject the front off, uh, allowing you to pull the cartridge out uh, with ease. <laughs> The magnets are incredibly powerful, so you have to try and keep them away, keep the components away from each other, so that they don't um, reattach. Um, so I'll just pull them apart here. So you have two uh, two two end caps, uh, a tip, and a clip. I will now assemble. Um, the magnets in a row just to show you that each one is is individual um, there so those are all the components involved as you can see one of the magnets has a black uh, silicone center this is to prevent the gel pen from drying out um, gel pens are known to dry out if they're not in contact with um, something silicone so so that's uh, another component. I'm gonna reassemble it here for you using the Uniball cartridge so the pen can either fit the Uniball Signo or the Pilot G-Tech 4 otherwise known as the Pilot High Tech C so I'll put it back together using um, the Uniball cartridge so all you have to do is take the magnets. Oh, I was also going to add um, the stylus tip onto the end. So with one more magnet uh, acting as the cap for the stylus component. Um, the stylus component is made from one um, metal part and one uh, rubber tip. The tip is replaceable just in case it wears out. Uh, it just easily slides onto the end and it makes for a nice soft surface for writing. So to put the magnets together all you have to do is kind of put them in your hands and they'll assemble themselves essentially. Um, I like to break off four magnets to start. Uh, I slide the cartridge into the pen like that. I then take the tip and just snap it on. Um, this now locks the cartridge into place so it can't go either way now without being forced. Um, I then take the clip component and just slide it on over top of the end of the cartridge um, and then pop the magnets on the end. Um, now break off three of the magnets, add an end cap and add the magnet to the other end break off the one that's going to be used with the stylus component and then um, you can take the silicone part and slide it back into the pen um, and then add the, add the cap on the end. Um, so the silica or the um, stylus component can be added onto either end, it's, it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> Alright, hopefully that'll stay there. So we'll just uh, put it onto the end with the cap or where the pen is. So it just snaps on like any of the other components. And I don't know of any other pens that have stylus tips that are capped, but the Polar Pen does. It's a really nice um, tip because it's narrow, so it allows you to be very accurate um, on the, pen, the iPad or on your iPhone or touchscreen device. Um, and there you go. I'll just quickly show you how it looks when it's on the other end. So you can pull the cap off there and the style tip. If you see it, it actually won't fit on unless you take the, the magnet and reverse its polarity. So you actually have to take the, the magnetic cap off and put, uh, you can add it on that way, snap it on there. Alright, so that's uh, just quickly showing you how to put together the pen um, and take it apart.